everybody. Today I've got a quick unboxing of a little fee doll. Now I put out a want to buy on my social media channels, Instagram and Facebook, saying that I wanted to buy a little fee. And I had some pretty, um, I, some, some, what's the word I'm looking for? Requirements, some price requirements. And I kind of wanted a tan girl. And a friend of mine, found this girl for me. She was for sale in a group that I am not a part of, sent it my way. I wasn't familiar with the seller, but I reached out to the seller and she was willing to sell and ship to me. This doll came from the UK. One of the things you have to be really careful with Little Fee is that you want to make sure you're not getting a recast doll. And she, the seller, had lost the original packaging for this doll. So what she did is, for me, I did some research about the doll myself, so just to be sure that I wasn't getting a recast. So number one, I looked up the sculpt everywhere and I couldn't find that this particular sculpt, now this is Madison, I could not find that this um, particular sculpt had been recasted. But the other thing was that the seller agreed or told me who she originally got this doll from and that was a person that I did know. So I sent that person a message and she was kind enough to send me uh, the email where she had purchased this doll originally from Denver Doll Emporium. So that gave me a clear conscience and let me know that this doll was definitely the legitimate thing. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. And so I felt good going ahead and buying her because what I wanted is I wanted a little fee and I wanted a tan little fee. Madeline, I call her Madison. This is Madeline, sorry. In my mind, I was going through Meredith, Matt. <laughs> the name's starting to run together after a while. So she's super cute, oh. And she, um, let's see. She does have some kind of prominent seam lines as some of the, like I've noticed they're more prominent on my tan Chloe as well. Um, and I have anti, I have little feet anti in the, in the fair skin. I know that's not what they call it, but that's what I like to call it. Um, they have, her seam lines aren't as noticeable, but this one kind of is. Um, but anyway, I brought her out an outfit. Now, her face up actually looks to be in pretty good condition but I think I am going to send her off for a new face up just to give her a fresh look because I'm sending a couple other dolls out anyway. And so I was thinking, well, I might as well send her out too so that I can give her a fresh look while I'm sending everything out at once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dress her really quickly and show you what she looks like clothed. So I've just got this outfit. Um, I'm gonna slip on really fast that my friend gave to me, and here it is. And I, I'm kind of been, like I'm really digging the Little Fees lately. I've been playing with my Little Fee Auntie a lot lately, and she's a lot of fun. I like how small they are, but I like the bodies are like, they feel kind of sturdy, and they're not as, because I got these dolls, both of my Little Fees I got for around the $200 mark, which brand new, um, they're somewhere around the $300 mark, and so that was kind of one of my requirements to so put that out there. Like, I don't mind, I, and I put in my request, I don't mind if there's a little bit of damage or face ups are damaged or whatever, or if the resin has yellowed some, um, I just kind of want them to play with. So perfection's not that important for me. And I've gotten luck, really lucky both times with both of the girls that I got. So put her in this outfit for now and again her face is going to be coming off and going um, going across the sea so she came to me from the UK and she's going to be going right back <laughs> because the face up artist I've chosen to do her face up is in the UK so I'm going to be sending her multiple dolls at one time and so that's gonna be a fun unboxing, is unboxing that. And I know I've done a ton of unboxings lately. They just kind of all came together at one time. I promise I'm gonna do some more stuff later that's not just unboxings. All right, so 
There she is in this and slipper little shoes on and then we'll try wigs. And one thing I notice about these dolls, and this is with all the Fairyland dolls, is a really quality wig makes a huge difference in the enjoyment level and like the, the look of the doll. Okay, so here she is clothed. These clothes are might be just a teensy weensy bit baggy for her. Um, but now I'm gonna try, I got two different wigs. I'm gonna try them both. So this is a mohair wig that I purchased for a different doll. And I think that's cute, but I think that's a little too much hair for her. What do you guys think? I think that's just, maybe I could pull it back with, um, with a hairband, but I think that's gonna be just a little too much hair for this girl. So, I think that one's not gonna make the cut, and she may end up with a more custom wig. So, let's see this one though. Oh, this one's super cute. So I like this one. So here she is with a little set, some bangs or a fringe, as some people call it. Fringe, people were saying, I first learned that this was a fringe, not just bangs, because I'd always called it bangs about a year ago. So I kept seeing people say a fringe and I'm like, what's a fringe? I've never heard of a fringe before. But um, she looks super cute like that. So this wig I think is better for her than the other one. Um, yeah, cause this is way too much hair. But I think she's a lot of fun. And so I think she's gonna be really fun with a new face up and I'll probably play with her eyes or some too. She might get a pair of dark brown eyes uh, instead of the green eyes. And, but she's really, one thing I like, and I've noticed this about my auntie too, is these are these dolls are a little bit older. This doll was purchased, I think, in 2016. My, um, the person that sent me, when she sent me the original email from Denver Doll, it was from, the invoice was 2016. So it's 20, 20 now, she's about four years old, but she's still like pretty solid, isn't she bunny? She's still pretty solid and you know, I can move her and she's still holding, her joints are still holding, where a lot of dolls, their stringing over time sort of degrades. And that was another thing, that was something about my auntie that I noticed as well, is like the stringing really holds up. So you don't have to worry about the floppiness and stuff. And I'm kind of new, like I'm not a Fairyland expert. I know a lot of people know a lot more about Fairyland dolls than I do but just as somebody who started collecting artist BJDs and then I've gotten a few Fairyland dolls, they're, they're loads of fun. So I think she's really cute. So anyway, um, what do you guys think? I, I'm trying to think what her face up is gonna look like. I, don't, I almost hate her, because her face up is not in bad condition, it's in pretty good condition, but I wanna give her like a totally unique look, so. I'm gonna send her off and get her new face up. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about her in the comments. And if you have a favorite store that sells Little Fee clothes, please link those in the comments below. I was looking on YouTube for Little Fee dress up videos the other day and I couldn't find any. There's none on YouTube. There's plenty for Mini Fee, but for Little Fee, I couldn't find anything because I was trying to get some style inspiration um, for this girl and didn't find much. So if you've got a favorite store, um, or a favorite website that, that sells little fee size clothes, link it for me below in the comments so I can check those out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.